Okay, so we're going to talk about putting a 48 or 36, but in this case, 48 volt to 12 volt reducer into a golf cart. Um, lots of tools, took some pictures. This is the reducer. Um, talk about the kill switch, talk about the terminal bus bar in a second. But effectively what I did was ran, and I ha I'm gonna clean mount this now, I just tested it. Ran from the beginning, positive, uh, all the way, you can use a multimeter, do 12 volts, 24, 36, and then 48, so got that running off here. These cables, back over here for a second, or these wires, the red one, um, positive, goes into this switch. So just in and out, put spade connectors on that. Um, and then that goes directly into the positive on the reducer. The negative on the reducer uh, right here uh, goes directly to the, the battery, that negative that home run all the way, all the way back there. Then what we have is the output side, which is 12 volts. Um, to make my stuff fit because of the wires, I wired the reducer into a terminal bus bar here, um, connected all these, so um, it's connected to all the terminal posts. Then I ran, right now I'm testing my, my headlights, which are on another switch, and you can see the switch is, is off or the light is off, but the switch is on. Um, but I ran this terminal bus bar power into, this is the Mad Jacks LED light kit, and then the negative out of the reducer. Uh, again, hooks to the this, this side that's all connected, and then I've positive out. So I, I have five more um, things I can connect. I mean, really, I can double stack them. Um, I'm gonna put these terminal bus bars, I'm gonna mount them here on the frame, put the reducer here. And that way, if I wanna do any lighting, I can switch uh, from here. Um, and then I also have this pair wire, which is a project for another day. There's a black in there that already runs uh, under the floor into the, into the dash. So I'm gonna put, take the cowl off and put another set of terminal bus bars up here. But as you can see, that light is not on. That's the headlight switch and the headlights are not on, um, but everything's hooked up. When I flip the power here, uh, now there's a decal here, but I'm gonna drill and, and put this in in a sec. Now you can see on, off, on, and then uh, you can see headlights are on and tail lights are on. So. It's a reducer. Um, I used a bunch of different tools, um, uh, 14 to 16 spade connectors here. I used a, a lot of uh, these butt splice uh, things, uh, 516 terminal ring, um, terminal bus bars. That's really handy for testing stuff, the multimeter. Um, Real simple um, non-LED switch because I can't find 48 volts. This is a 125 volt, 20 amp switch, so it's big, and they got the spade connectors on there, and uh, some electrical tape and, and basic stuff like that. Um, uh, I used wire strippers, and, and this was really handy because it just really crimps those butt splicers together. 16 gauge. Um, I'm not going to run anything big off this, so. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bolt this stuff in, clean it up, show you the uh, install in a moment. Okay, so I'm back, I've cleaned everything up. I drilled a hole for this switch um, underneath this, so I didn't really wanna go through the painted body. Um, kind of tie wrapped everything up. I got a bundle of extra cable here, pretty loose. Um, tap that in, my bus bar, I put tape over here because that red kind of confuses me. Um, but uh, yeah, and then this is the, the headlights, my first 12 volt accessory. And again, you can see the headlight switches off. The headlights themselves are off. And reducer on. Now I've got headlights. And
then just master kill. So again, I'll put some more terminal bus bars under the cowl for my next project.